my sleepy little child. Oh goodness. <laughs> Keep messing with him, I'm gonna wake him up. Good afternoon everyone. It's Travis and Twins here. Um, getting ready to feed Oliver and then I think I'll feed Quinn if he'll stay asleep long enough. Um, taking care of twin boys is hard. <laughs> Uh, one of them wakes up, the other one wakes up, one of them's hungry, the other one's hungry. Uh, I don't think it would be too bad if it wasn't for the fact that uh, we have to focus really hard on feeding Oliver because um, he's not gained as much weight <clears throat> as Quinn, but we had a two and a half week update with the doctor yesterday to check on Oliver's weight and he's gained six ounces since last week. Um, so he's doing good. Quinn's doing really good. He's over eight pounds now. Um, we had a big setback with the formula. The doctor called and said we had to switch his formula from. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Daddy's gonna feed you in just a second. And I started talking and woke him up. Um, but we had a setback with the formula. Um, they told us we needed to go to the store and buy high calorie formula instead of the lactose free that we've been given Oliver and he went from drinking about two ounces to about a half an ounce and then about one ounce and then spitting everything up so the doctor called and said we had to switch him from the formula we had him on which was lactose free sensitive stomach because we think he's lactose intolerant like I am um, and put him on high calorie formula and he had been drinking about two ounces, almost two ounces every feeding, and then we put him on the new formula, and he went from two ounces to back down to like half an ounce. Then we kind of got him up to an ounce every feeding, and he just started spitting it up. Um, even if we let him sit up for like 30, 40 minutes after he ate, he would still just spit it all up. So we went ahead and just put him back on the other formula, and the doctor gave us a recipe on how to make that formula higher calorie. So we're in the clear now, everything's good. Um, it was just, it was a really hard couple of days having to deal with that because it was like, we were making so much progress. He went from eating only half an ounce when we brought him home up to two ounces over like four or five days. And then switching that formula was just like a major setback. So uh, we weren't happy about that at all. Oliver's on sensitive formula, Quinn's on regular. I got it warming up in my favorite coffee mug there for Oliver. This is our little setup here in the living room. Have this little, I don't know, like um, breakfast in bed type tray thing. Um, I got my computer here on the ottoman, and then this is where we change them for the most part. A little basket with stuff, some wipes back there. Um, been watching lots of YouTube videos on the TV, lots of Netflix. Um, just kind of been hanging out in here. We got them in their twin bassinet. It's a twin bassinet and pack and play combo. So they've been sleeping here for the most part. Um, we've put them in the crib in their room a few times, but for right now, we really kind of keep them in here. We're trying to transition them to sleep on their back for long periods of time because for a while Quinn's startle reflex see like he's moving around right now is is really bad and it was it was way worse before but if we let him sleep like sitting up with the boppy he he sleeps so much better and he'll sleep so much longer and then Quinn, no, Oliver, goodness, I, I do that a lot, Oliver, what's well, over, buddy? Oh, you're waking up, you want something to eat. I got you a bottle too, buddy. I'm going to feed you both. But Oliver was spitting up, so he sleeps on his back better now that we've got him just on the sensitive formula, but we're hoping within the next week or two to have them both 
and in their in their room and in their cribs, um, which is right next to our room. So uh, I guess what the plan is is to keep them in their room from about the middle of the night till the middle of the afternoon. So we'd have them out here during the day in this bassinet with us, but then at, at night in the room next to our room. Um, we spent a bunch of money on those cribs, so we better put them in there soon, I guess. So I'm gonna wake them up here in just a minute and get them a little food. Maybe I'll update a little bit more in a little while. Somebody doesn't want to take a nap. Hmm. Got the lights turned off in the living room because I was putting the boys down for a nap. Mm, Oliver has fell asleep. But Quinn just doesn't want to go to sleep. So he's still not playing with daddy. I think we're only a few weeks away from some smiles. Every once in a while he'll grin while he's asleep. And when I play with him, he kind of makes his face like he wants to smile, but he doesn't know how. But he's not even three weeks old yet, so I know the smile is a little ways away. But I can't wait till it comes. I've been singing to him. I'm not going to sing. I'm not a singer. So I don't want to hurt people's ears, but he's just really awake right now. Which is good, because we... We want them to be more awake during the daytime like this than at night because my wife says that past couple of nights he's been wide awake all night long and that he cries if he's not being held. So I just got him sitting here in his boppy right in front of me watching some TV trying to kind of play with him. A little background noise on. I turned it off so I could video him. But yeah, he is just wide awake. Looking all over. Got the hiccups, fed him, changed him, burped him, he fell asleep, so I tried to put him down and he decided he was not ready. I wish I had some better lighting in here, but I turned all the lights off. My sleepy little child. Oh goodness, <laughs> keep messing with him, I'm going to wake him up. I am going to do some grocery shopping. Hopefully, I will have time and I'll get my hair cut. Um, I've been so excited all day long to like get out of the house and go do something. But um, after spending the whole day taking care of the boys, I was like really tired. So they finally were both down for a nap. And I thought, well, no, this would be a good time for me to take a nap. Like 15 minutes before Rachel wakes up before I have to leave and go do the grocery shopping and stuff. Um, and right in the middle of my nap, someone was beating on my door, man. The boys are right where I left them. Home with mama. I put away all the groceries. I bought tons of it. I bought this thing for the cat because she seems sad lately. So we got her some special cat food and a little brush thing <clears throat> finally a full fridge hasn't been full in forever and i am going to finish making my shepherd's pie i started it earlier I'm gonna finish it up here soon while i was at the grocery store i ran into three people First person I ran into was Rachel's ex from like six years ago. Second person I ran into was a nurse that I work with at one of the nursing homes I work at. And this third person was a resident I used to take care of, which was really nice because he asked me about the boys and wanted to stop and look at pictures and talk. So that was cool. I enjoyed that. While I was at Walmart, I looked for a Batman onesie because Batman um, versus Superman is coming out and I thought it would be cool to buy them one because I have a little extra money I want to bet from Rachel 
but I did not find them one. So, and this thing broke, so I had to tie it together. No Batman onesie now. Maybe later. Anyway, that is all for today. So, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Till next time.